Folks at home, welcome to Tank Tuesday. And instead of this video being all about Moby and our pet bass, it is gonna be all about our new turtle tank. So in our last video, we set up this turtle tank and we asked a lot of you for suggestions on what we should do. We got a lot of good feedback and we will be making those changes later on in the video. But first, let's get to the good stuff. So we are right in the middle of a tropical storm here in South Alabama right now where it's gonna do nothing but rain for the next three days. Look at my boat, it is in poor shape, but I'm pumping this water out right now because we are gonna have a small two to three hour window where the sun's gonna shine this afternoon and we need that sun to shine so the turtles get up on the log. So I'm gonna try to drain this and we're gonna get out and see if we can catch us a baby pet turtle. So while this water is draining out of the boat, I'm gonna go on a quick scouting mission. All right, folks, I got a good place to do some scouting. We're here at Alligator Alley. This is over on the eastern shore. There, this place is infested with gators. And one thing I've learned, anywhere there's alligators, there's turtles. I'm gonna do a walkthrough of this area and see if we have any little suspects down in here. And we are right there. In case you need some gator information, pause it right here, plenty of gator stats. And that's why they call it Alligator Alley. All right, we got our first turtle. A little bit on the big side, and he's not a map turtle, so it's the wrong species. Any of you know what type of turtle that is? Leave it in the comment below. Gonna cover some more ground, walk back up through these creeks. I think I see some more sitting back there on those logs. Then we're gonna go get in the boat. So let's talk about some of the suggestions you all made for the turtle tank. So the most common suggestion is that we need to get this right side of the tank to where the turtle can completely get out of the water. You can see there's still a little bit of water there. So I'm gonna build this up. I'm gonna add some new rocks in there because when a turtle is basking, they need to be completely out of the water. And the second tip y'all gave me is to put both of the lights, the heat lamp and the UVB bulb in the basking side of the tank. So whenever the turtle's sitting up there basking, it's gonna get the effects of both of those lights. So what I did, since we don't have any lights over here on this side of the tank, I went out and bought a clip-on LED light and as you can see it's good for planted aquarium so I know we may not be able to get rooted plants to grow in here because the turtle is going to eat them but I got a couple ideas in mind. And so what I'm going to do is try to add some floating plants into the aquarium that way the turtle can't get up there and eat them. You can see this is called frog bit. It's like a small lily pad there and it also has a little root system on the bottom so that's going to be our first little trial plant we're going to add. And we're also gonna put the tank on a stand. We have a custom stand that's being built. It should be ready here in a few days. So I got some larger rocks here. I just washed them off. We're gonna add them in and see how that looks. I got the rocks added. It's already looking much better. I've got a lot of basking area in this tank for him. So he can crawl up the rocks there. Got a piece of wood out of the water here. That's what came with the aquarium, these two pieces. So at least 50% of the tank is dry land now. Let's look at it from this view. So there's his swimming pool area right there, and there's his basking area. All right, we finally got some of that sunshine. I got all the water out of the boat. This is all I need right here. A net, some binoculars to help me spot them, and some rain gear. All right, folks, we just launched at Busby's. We're in a creek right off the Baymanette Basin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cruise down these banks. There's plenty of wood and cypress trees and roots and things like that that the turtle should be out basking on. So I'm gonna start off on this right bank because the sun is over here. So we're gonna just cruise, got my binoculars, and try to spot us a baby turtle. We got all kinds of good looking spots right here. Just limbs just overhanging the water. We should come up on a turtle here pretty soon. All right, we have our first turtle spotting right there on that log behind these green leaves that's a big one but i'm thinking that might be mama turtle she just dove off i'm gonna try to ease up here see if there's any babies around all right i got back here to a small creek looks pretty turtle like so i'm gonna just get on the trolling motor and cruise back here to the back all right folks we got a baby turtle and this may be impossible he's sitting on the other side of this structure Got some boat traffic around here, so I'm going to wait it out and then maybe even get up there on that pier and try to catch him. All right, I got the boat tied off right here. Let's ease down this pier and see if we can see him. Let's try the old sneak attack.
Dad coming. That was him too. I think if this little platform wouldn't have been here, I would have been able to get to him because I just got down on my hands and knees and crawled all the way to right here. But when I got to here, I was using the pier to block me. But when I got to right here, there was a gap in the pier right there. And I saw his head looking directly at me. So rather than try to sneak anymore, I tried to make a quick run for it and dive in there and get him. And what I used to do when I was a kid, rather than actually tr trying to go to the log and catch him, you go up under the log and just try to let him dive off into the net. But man, that was him. That was perfect size. The right species. Just couldn't make it happen. something here i just had two small turtles fall off of that branch right there i didn't even get a good look at them but they fell in the water and it was a tiny splash i'm gonna hang right around here in these lily pads if they come back up all right folks i came back to that spot where i heard some jump off earlier and there he is he's sitting right there on that log i'm gonna try to ease up here to him get behind these limbs see if i can get him First one fell off, but there's another one sitting right there beside where he just fell. He's up to him. So I thought that was another one, but it wasn't. It was just that first one that fell off. The first time I came through, he was sitting on this limb. The second time he was sitting right there. But this guy's a smart little joker. He has jumped when I was still 20 feet or more away from him, so he would be a tough one to catch. Probably the best way to catch him would be to just hang around this area, and eventually he'd come up and surface. You could probably net him right whenever he was coming to the surface. I'm going to sit here for one more minute, but as you can see, that sun is going down. All right, we got another one right there on that log. Me to have to get this one. Goodness, I almost had that one. That was a perfect size. He was sitting right here on this limb. He fell off in the water and he did exactly what I wanted him to do. He turned around and came back and was coming up to the surface. And when I went to put my net in, it hit that limb right there and he, he went just to the other side of it and I couldn't get him. Jeez, that was it and that was a perfect size. Man, I'm upset I missed that opportunity. That was a baby. That one looked like he was about an inch and a half. All right guys, I was gonna stay out here for a little while, but unfortunately, Tropical Storm Alberto is making its presence. It's starting to get nasty out here. You can see the wind starting to blow, so I better go on and get off the water. Unfortunately, I only had three opportunities today and I got really close on that last one. That last one was a perfect size. Under normal situation, I'd get back out here tomorrow and I could almost guarantee you I could catch them now that I know where they're at, but we're gonna have 55 mile an hour winds. You can see the birds are getting out of dies. They're like, let me get out of this storm. So I hate to say it, but we're gonna have to put the turtle chasing off until the next video. All right, Moby, sorry I made you wait to the end of the video to feed you. I know you're a little bit angry with me, but we've been out chasing turtles. All right, I'm actually going to give him two since they're a little on the small side. Let's see how quick you can get them. Gosh, top water blow up. One, two, punch, gone. I got the two basking lights moved over and the new LED light installed. And I think it's starting to look like a pretty good looking turtle tank. So now let's add that frog bit plant. All right, we got them in there and I'm definitely liking the look of them. So we're probably going to add some more of them or either a different type of floating plant in an upcoming video. 
But guys, leave me a comment down below if you think I need to add anything extra to this turtle tank or if you have any advice for raising pet turtles. I'm gonna let little Miss Sarah in the video for us. Leave a comment down below of whether or not you think I'll catch a turtle in the next video. Sarah, tell them all to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all next Tank Tuesday.